Line. Good morning, Coach Anna Marie. When it comes to investing, what stock does President Trump have what, that we can get? And when you think about her buying a Rocky Dinar, go to my site immediately at annamariestrawhand.com. I had a prophetic word from the Lord on Holy Spirit led investments. Okay. All right. And uh, everything is listed there on what the Holy Spirit led me and my husband, Michael, to invest in right now. Okay. I am not a financial advisor by all means, but I do have a prophetic covering and I do hear very clearly from the Holy Spirit. My husband, Michael, and I prayed about what to do with finances and the Holy Spirit answered us. Okay. So it would take me a long time to explain all that. Uh, however, um, we did invest in DWAC, D-W-A-C, T-M-T-G, uh, President Trump's uh, data acquisition companies. That's what the Holy Spirit told us to invest in. So we did. And freely I received from the Lord. Freely I shared with all of you. And also we did invest in um, an Israeli company that does um, uh, carbon printing. You know, um, what do you call those big printers, right? So carbon fiber printing. They can build whole entire houses, 3D printers. So uh, the Holy Spirit uh, gave me a prophetic dream about that. So all that is listed in the names of the companies that my husband, Michael, and I also, we invested in Kodak, uh, Eastman Kodak Company, because the Lord led me to a speech that President Donald J. Trump did while he was in office pointing to Kodak. Uh, so for me new medical technology. So there are two or three companies that the Lord said uh, led me to and my husband to, to invest in. It's all listed on my site, just type the word in investments uh, on the search bar in animarystrawhand.com and that listing will come up. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is the divine transfer of wealth that is spoken about in the Bible. God is using President Trump to bring about the transference of wealth. Okay. Why now? Because it's time for the kingdom of God to come to earth through Jesus Christ bride, the Ecclesia, which means we are going to be financed to do this. Uh, we're going to be going out and spreading the gospel like never before. All right. And we need to be financed to do that. So the, the, the wealth of the wicked is being stripped and given to the righteous. Now, if you're going to invest in these companies and you're going to do what the Lord tells you with finances, you better get yourself ready and show the Lord you're going to work for him. <laughs> I mean, I'm not just sitting here giving advice. No, the Lord said, share this with people so that they can receive the transference of wealth to do my work. <laughs> because if you don't use that money for righteous purposes, it'll be stripped from you too. Hello? So the people that are going to get the, this wealth first are going to be the ones that are already, right? doing the works of the Lord. Why do you think God has me sitting here teaching you to be activated in your purpose? He's activating people in their divine purpose for the kingdom because he wants to finance it. He's giving us strategies, right? How to get the finances. Oh, does God give strategies? Well, Jesus gave one to Peter. Peter had to pay his taxes. Peter needed money. Peter needed finances. So what did Jesus say? Well, Peter, here's a strategy for you. Go to the lake. G Peter had to put his feet to his faith and obey the steps. Put out a hook. The first fish you catch, right? He told him he was very clear, gave him exactly what fish. The fish had two coins in his mouth, okay? And don't just pay your taxes, Peter, pay mine. In other words, this has to be for the kingdom, too. You have to do this for me, too. Jesus. Okay? So I'm very clear in that article when I wrote about the transference of wealth, the places that the Holy Spirit told me to invest in. Okay? Now, Prophet Kim Clement did prophesy about the Iraqi dinar. Okay? What is an Iraqi dinar? It's the, the money the paper money of the country of Iraq, okay? That was not my prophetic word. It was Kim Clement's prophetic word, okay? 
Um, Mike and I have not invested in the Iraqi dinar. We were not led to do that. Uh, I am praying on all of Kim Clement's prophetic words. And if you feel led, then go to Kim Clement's word on the Iraqi dinar and you go to the Holy Spirit with that one. Okay. Uh, that word was not given to me. However, I did have some uh, someone uh, send me an Iraqi dinar. Um, and when I checked out the person that sent me the Iraqi dinar, I got a big check in my spirit about it. I, I prayed for them, but uh, I discerned it was not a good source. So uh, I have since uh, gotten rid of that Iraqi dinar. My husband and I agreed on that, um, that we don't want to take anything uh, from a a source that is not godly. All right. Um, we have to be really, you know, really careful. We only want to be led directly where the Lord tells us to go and tells us to do. And, you know, Mike and I, we, we, we prayed over every transaction we make. We, we dedicate it all to God. So just make sure that you, if you get any checks and you're leading from the Holy Spirit, even from what I'm telling you, all right, uh, you know, go to God and get it confirmed yourself. All right. All right. Go and listen to the words of Prophet Kim Clement. If you feel confirmed in your spirit with the Iraqi Tanar, then do it. But I do not have any good godly sources to get that from. I don't. And I'm not going to uh, refer anyone to that when, you know, no. So I got rid of it because I don't want anything that is has any compromise whatsoever. <laughs> All right. And remember, the currency of the kingdom is faith and obedience. 